Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Prince Prodigy, and today we are doing another Celtics My GM. Be sure to sit tight in this one because I got a lot of content for you guys. The first thing that I'm going to do in this video is get Greg Popovich as our coach. Good step forward as we had a young coach, Brad Stevens. The GM didn't really like him so much, so we ended up firing him and getting Greg Popovich. And then we rehire our scout, probably the best scout in the league. So now we are going to start off with the draft. And in the draft, you guys already know, I saw your suggestions, and they seemed like they were uh, pretty good to the picks that we had. So, if uh, we do end up getting those guys, fine, we'll just rebuild later on. But if it ends up being other players that we get, like, uh, you know, better players, like, I've seen some crazy drafts where Jabari Parker goes, like, number 30 or something like that. So, you never know. But... We're going to go ahead and hop right into this draft, and we'll see who the first pick is. Whoever the first three picks are, that says the tone for the draft. It'll tell you whether the draft's going to be realistic or unrealistic. That I cannot control. All I can do is just make sure I don't draft too many people. Gary Harris goes number one, starting off too, pretty unrealistic so far. So we just got to make sure that the other teams, you know, draft some pretty good people. And they draft James Young, which is one of the people you guys wanted me to get. So now he's off the board, and this draft doesn't seem very realistic so far. Gary Harris and James Young going number one and two, and then Rodney Hood going number three. That's not, you know, the smartest pick. Obviously, they still have Jabari and Wiggins on the board, but they went out and got him. Julius Randle, I guess that's a smart pickup, but like I said, Wiggins and Parker are still on the board. So this seems like we're, we are going to have a pretty good player. Aaron Gordon goes number five. We are just three picks away. So if they don't go these two picks, then we should be just fine. They offered me that trade. I can tell this draft is going absolutely nowhere. So I decline that. That is not what I'm going for. So let's just see who they draft number six. And if it's not someone very good, then we are in the clear. Nick Skowskis goes number six. So basically we just need... For uh, one more person not to draft the Wiggins or Jabari, and we are fine to pick whoever we want. Like we had the number one pick. So now we ended up still getting a, a pretty good draft. I was saying to myself, this is probably gonna be my worst draft on my GM, but we get a Wiggins. I know some of you guys wanted Marcus Smart, but let's be honest here. Wiggins is obviously a better pickup than Marcus Smart. I know you guys thought it'd be realistic because obviously we had the eighth pick and the draft didn't go as planned. But that's not how it ended up going. So we do get Andrew Wiggins in this one. And the next pick is going to go to the Lakers. And they, I don't know what they're doing. I thought the Lakers uh, scout would have saw Jabari and picked him up. But I guess not. And they ask us to trade Olenek. Obviously, I'm going to do that. But the thing is, is that Olenek's a center. And since we're losing him, we're going to have to go out and get another center. And the best center on the board is still there. Mr. Uh, Joel Embiid. So we're going to go ahead and draft Joel Embiid right now. Marcus Smart is still on the board. I know you guys really want me to get him. Jabari Park is even there. And I just really need to get a big man. It just would, it, it seems better for the series. You guys know. I just want to make the best team possible. And so far, the way this is going, you know the Lakers have a lot of cap. And I, can really, I really think I can win a championship early with them. Whether it be this year or next year, however it goes. Just depends on how many moves I make this season before the season starts. Markel Brown. Terrible draft. This draft is not going really as planned. The better teams are going to end up getting the better players. And, th and then the worst teams are still going to be bad. So hopefully we can get more draft picks from them. Marcus Smart. He ends up going to Golden State. I really thought about drafting him next, guys. But you guys saw he already got picked up. So that's not going to happen for us right there. So I think we have the 22nd pick, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if we have any before that. But the draft is still really not going as planned. Jabari Parker still has not been drafted on the 13th pick. This is pretty weird. I know you guys saw uh, the last Celtics My GM draft. That was really, really weird. Kyle Anderson, what are they doing? Zach Levine even, didn't even get drafted before him. That was the best dude in UCLA. And right now they're offering us their 15th pick if we give up ours. No, I'm not going to do that. Because like I said, the draft isn't going anywhere. There's no need to trade up. And plus, I really want the other teams to draft Jabari. I don't want to get Jabari and Wiggins. I want this series to be really competitive. 
and I want it to be hard for me to win a ring. I don't want it to just be cakewalked in because I ended up getting every single draft pick. I know you guys noticed that I do like getting a lot of draft picks, but I try to keep the series as realistic as possible. I'm not going to give up those picks if the computers offer them to me. So right now, I'm in kind of like a situation where I can either get Exum or Parker. I still have Rondo, but like I said, I'm just hoping that the computer picks up Parker. With the 17th pick just going and Jabari Parker still not drafted, that's just disrespectful to the man. I don't know what these scouts are doing, but every single one of them got to get fired because they're giving their teams false information. So now they offer me the 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 their 10th pick, or actually that's not the 10th pick, but they offer me uh, Martel Webster and their pick for Jason Terry, and obviously I'm going to take that. The Jet is pretty old. We don't really need him. We just got young talent to replace him. So now I think what I'm going to do is just draft people as, as trade bait. Zach Levine, a dude that I really like to have, I'm going to get him and whoever else I get next, they're all just going to be trade bait. So I'm not going to use them. I'm letting you guys know early. I'm not going to keep who else after this. They all are just straight trade bait. So whoever gets drafted after this time right here is just going to be traded. Simple. So right after free agency, we're going to have a lot of trades to do and that's all going to be in this video right here, which is why I said there's going to be a lot of content in this one. The draft is pretty long. You guys know how it runs. Shabazz Napier goes to the Knicks. And I, I like that pickup for him. But still, like I said, come on now, Jabari and Melo. You guys could have had something going there. Probably could have got Melo to stay a little bit. But, I mean, whatever. Your your scouts are not doing work for you guys. Nick Johnson goes before Jabari. How disrespectful is that? Guys, this, I don't know. I, I kind of wanted to restart the draft. But at the same time, I was like, hey. It's going for me, we can win a ring, and these players are going to be on team, so it's whatever, basically. I'm just going to end up trading them afterwards. As I pick up Jabari as trade bait, like I said, number 22. Come on now. That should never happen. That should really never happen. And from now, from, from these picks going down, you guys are going to be like, what the heck? These teams are going to be stacked. Yes, I know it. I can see it coming. But Mozgov and... and uh, Gerald Wallace. I've been looking to trade Wallace for a while. Mozgov was a dude that I was kind of like, hey, he could be a backup son or whatever. But I ended up taking the trade because that's a lot of cap space that I just got rid of. And like I said, I can just keep getting more bait for trades. I can uh, I can do a lot with this stuff. McDermott, I didn't want to pick him up because, like I said, if the Spurs get him, they would be really stacked. I, I like how he would look on the Spurs. So I'm just going to let him be right there. And see who else drafts him afterwards. There's a lot of picks before the Spurs, but you guys know. If a team, if a really good team ends up picking him up, I'd be pretty happy for him. As the Rockets get Peyton, so now they got another good point guard. And I obviously know, look at that, the Spurs, I knew they weren't going to give him up. I left him on the board just for them. And TJ Warren goes to the Heat. Now what if the Heat would have gotten Dougie D? But... Now going on to the second round, they are pro there's probably still a little bit of talent left on the board because this draft was really, really lopsided. But uh, anyways, like I said, the, the pretty good teams, they got some pretty good talent as the Bucks end up getting on Kumpo. So now the brothers are, I'm not sure if they're brothers or cousins, but now they're going to be on the same team. And they're offering us a bunch of draft picks on next year's draft picks in this one. I, I'm going to decline all that because now the second round doesn't really matter to me. I'm just, I just want to go on to the offseason, you guys know. So, I'm going to let you guys see the rest of the draft. You guys can watch, but do not leave because there is a lot more content after the draft. You guys can skip over if you want to, but uh, I am going to see you guys right after the draft to see the trades that we do after the draft and, the, and free agency also. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Alright, so because of all of the free agents or the rookies that I got, now I can really only offer Avery Bradley a deal because we had him already. So, you know, you guys know the bird option and all that. So we end up signing him back to get a little piece of the Celtics. I want to keep at least like one Celtics player. Even though you guys know how I run, I like to trade a lot of people. Jabari Parker, I trade him for 
Iman Shepard. They seem like they're kind of the same type of player, but obviously Jabari has a lot more talent. I give them up to the Knicks, and if they keep Melo, they should be just fine. They should be a pretty good squad. Next person I'm going to trade is Glenn Robinson, and I end up trading away Brandon Bass with him too. Not because I want to, but just because he came as a package, you guys know. So I end up trading him, and then right now we're working on another trade where I would go ahead and trade, you know, the little scrubs I got in the draft also. And now this is the big trade, the marquee trade, where we trade Rajon Rondo because we do have a point guard now for Kevin Love. You guys let me know what you think about that. That was the biggest trade I think I made this whole time. And and this is one of the last trades I did where I trade Zaza and a, and a second round pick uh, just for, you know, I didn't, I didn't really want to, you know, mess them up and... I didn't want to mess him up and kind of like not give him any minutes to make him angry, so I traded him just to get a scrub so that way that he could ride the bench, basically. We don't really need any more, you know, people who can play for us. Jeff, Green's, Jeff Green ends up going because our forwards were just too stacked, couldn't handle it. So I ended up trading him also, and this is my squad as of right now. You guys will see the, the season opener on the next day that's mine. I'm not sure which one that is. Check the description for the schedule time. But I will see you guys later. Peace.